I guess you can say I'm blessed. I mean, here I am living in the greatest shopping country in the world, and don't think I don't appreciate it. Dee, you look so fatty. Well, you are beyond fatty. You are approaching Demi. Okay. Well, you are pushing the Uma envelope. <laughs> oh, thank you. Dee and I are getting ready for the gala grand opening yeah, of Alonzo Marcus, a way exclusive European designer store, which isn't easy in the same room as my oat scarfing non stepbrother. Okay, so let me get this straight. You're buying clothes in order to go to this store where you can buy clothes? Of course. You never walk into a store looking like you need clothes. I mean, they're not going to give you the time of day. You have to make them respect you. Gee, silly me. I thought people respect you because of your character, your integrity. Hey, at least I'm trying to do something useful here. I'm volunteering to help Joe Pasadine get elected to the state assembly. Maybe we can finally get some regulations on toxic dumping and auto emissions. Josh, you're so C-SPAN. That's a good one. It's always great to slam dunk Mr. Holier than thou. So why did it give me this general feeling of ickiness? Ladies? And now I'm afraid we have to turn <coughs> to the <coughs> essays. Boy, your and pants are big. Oh, Thank gentlemen, you. how good of you to join us. Please sit down. And I, I, I think I really want to emphasize this. I have never heard such a bunch of badly prepared, incoherent oral presentations. Absolutely. So excuse me, like, if all the reports were bad, does that mean none of us stood out as being exceptionally bad? That's correct. All right. Because they were all bad. So I'm going to have the entire class do them over. No. Uh, Mr. Hall, I don't know if you can do that. See, I'm sure you've heard of double jeopardy. That means you can't put the same guy on trial twice for the same crime. And uh, since that's public law and we're in a public school, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Murray? Yes? I wish you'd apply these same mental faculties to your schoolwork. The fact is, I'm doing you all a favor. Ugh, this is so Shawshank. This isn't punishment, Cher. You all really need to expand your viewpoint. Remember the passage you were supposed to report on? No man is an island entire of itself. Any man's death diminishes me because I am involved in mankind. And therefore, ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. Oh, it tolls for me. Now, I want to hear new reports starting tomorrow. Um, Mr. Hall, tomorrow is really bad for me. I have a massage tonight, and this would really stress me out and totally defeat the purpose. Now, if I were to move something around, I think I could get it to you Friday, but Monday would be optimal. Uh, share. Please. Now, Cher, none of my students work up to their potential, but each semester there's one that really hurts me. Can you guess who that student is this semester? Amber. Sean? Nabushi? You see, I think the reason that you're having trouble is that you're so, so sheltered. In order to understand literature, you have to learn about suffering, unfulfilled dreams, and Unrequited love, lost hope. Big white whales? Yeah, I want to go. Come with me. So, I saw these new announcements on my way in today. I want you to pick a community activity. Doesn't matter which one. The point is, it's going to put you in contact with real people. Couldn't I just write a paper? No, this is going to be good for you. way disciplined share you would have been proud i almost bought this wooden shoulder bag and i totally stopped myself because alonzo marcus is going to have the latest bags share what are you doing are you still looking for volunteer stuff here let me find you something good delivering meals to the elderly hello isn't that like being a waitress at lenny's oh, look at this donating blood ew, ew. <gasps> hold it d city beautification Help restore a classic city park. Oh, this would be so perfect for us. Did I hear the us word? Oh, volunteers. I think that's us. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, Dee. Have you ever felt so needed? This is so post big one. I wonder who's in charge here. Oh. Excuse me, miss. 
Um, you look like you might work here, and I really think we need to talk. Now, right off the top, we're looking for sepia. We're looking for mauve. Okay? Earth tones are so important mm -hmm. in Earth setting. Yeah. Earth tones? Oh, totally. I mean, I am seeing terracotta pots on this dustwood. Yes. Oh, this month's in style. Oh, stellar, the Andy yeah. McDowell Ranch. Yes. Oh. You should really pick that up. It would be really helpful. Mm -hmm. Andy McDowell? Uh-huh. You know, I really think we got here just in time. Oh. And by the way, have you noticed the garbage? You really have quite an eye, don't you? We're lucky to have you. There's only one thing we ask of our volunteers on the first day. Get your butts into the shed and change into your work clothes. Everybody! Uh, here we go. Let's get it going. Uh, I thought that we could maybe go uh, over some of the... Do you have trouble hearing? Uh-oh, we're in trouble. Color. I'm so sick of you spoiled Beverly Hills kids. You come out here to earn a little extra credit or to work off a traffic ticket. Then you end up sitting around on your butts while the real volunteers do all the work. Uh, are you calling us faux? Because we are really so fully volunteering. I suggest you get your volunteering tails into gear. Philanthropic endeavors were way ickier than I thought, but I tried to persevere. <laughs> This cannot be happening. Let's just tell her that there's certain things we won't do. It's a good flyer. Concise, emotional. You did a great job. All right, great. You think it'll help get him elected? Not a prayer. The guy's unelectable. But don't get me wrong. I like that you're volunteering. It's good to take up a cause while you still have ideals. It was awful. I felt like I was on the chain gang without the ankle bracelets. <laughs> this does not surprise me. You know, it's hard to picture you taking up a cause. It's not yourself. Excuse me, but I have donated many cute little Italian outfits to the Goodwill. You needed the extra closet space. Well, how about when I boycotted grapes? They make you break out. I volunteered to help save the rainforest. Oh, and that had nothing to do with Billy Baldwin speaking at the fundraiser. The fact that Billy and I are so deeply concerned about the environment. All right, you two. I would like to get some work done here. Cher, you have some homework. Yes, Daddy. Josh, you want to be a lawyer one day, right? Yes, sir. Then go get my briefcase from the car. My Cleaver-esque stepbrother has no idea. I do so many helpful things for the world. Being at one with nature? Oh, this is totally trashing my acrylics, Cher. Oh, uh, at least it's helping your cuts. This must be what they did before Nautilus. You know, I can't believe I let you talk me into this. I'm gonna have to explore our power dynamic. Ladies! Oh. Well, you'll be happy to know we've lost our funding, <gasps> so you can go home and you'll get full credit. That's great! Oh, my God, we have so much work to do. First, we have to get this dirt sandblasted. Then we have to get manicures, facials, full spa treatments. Sorry, honey, this place is too dirty. You could get hurt. Come on, let's go. No. Come on, sweetie, it's too dirty. No. It's dirty. I know. I know, sweetie. I had the perfect way out. I was as free as Anna Nicole Smith's modeling agents. So why was I bumming? Oh, Murray, 
Now that's enough. Those pants are too big. Those pants can never be too big. That's right. You can never be too rich and have too big a pants. Careful. Your nails are still vulnerable from your manicure. Why are you spacing? Dee, I am going through severe... Thank you. Emotional upheaval. Perhaps some therapeutic shopping is in order? Barney's is having a sale on Daddy's favorite Ralph Lauren shirts. See, I was supposed to clean up this park, which really bummed me, but then they ran out of money and we couldn't clean up the park, and that actually bummed me even more. Well, what do they need money for? Oh, I don't know, like rakes and bags and stuff. Well, that shouldn't cost much. Well, yeah, but they also need a bunch of people to help clean up. Picking up garbage, how hard could that be? Well, there's no supervisor. Supervisor? I don't suppose there's anybody you know who's good at organizing people, is there? Oh, you mean like Mel Gibson? In that movie where the Irish won't fight back against those other people, but he leads them into battle, and then he gets his guts torn out with a meat hook? Right. I just got a great idea. Oh, thank you, Daddy. No man is an island. I think the author was referring to Antigua. Now, I've been to Antigua, and first of all, the men there are total Barneys. So if you want to find diggable guys, the place to go is Maui. Amber, this report on Antigua, it, it, it's really no better than your report on Barbados. Mr. Hall, I did it twice. Didn't I make you wish you were there? You know, you really did. Sean! <sighs> so, no man is an island. To me, what we have here is a typo. It's no man is on an island, i.e., there's no one here. I.e., we're all on a deserted island. I refer you now to Gilligan's Island. When Gilligan and the, and the skipper, they would look up a coconut, right? And Marianne, she always tried to tell Gilligan, you know, she's walking by trying to I don't to even want to discuss but, it. You know, they got that bond like me and my man Dude, Mary. I'm so excited. I got anyway, jumpsuits, I got pointed best sticks, best I got gloves. Share. Yeah, I got it. Tomatoes are best. Sure. I really need you to counterbalance the, the dismal level of the rest of these reports. Don't worry, Mr. Hall. You'll be so proud of me. I was no Mel Gibson, but I was still feeling way satisfied working for a cause. Oh. What's going on here? Miss Sorensen, we're working for a cause. We're giving the park a complete makeover. We're being totally selfless. You're being totally stupid. Oh, no, we don't care about the credit. Would well, you care about insurance? Do you care about permits? Do you care about liability? Because the city does. We can't just clean up a park? Oh, sure. What if everybody just went wandering around cleaning and fixing things? You have a thing or two to learn about government, honey. So what should we do? Well, you can try calling the uh, city park departments and uh, getting a permit. Thanks. I tried really hard to call the city, but the city didn't seem to have any human beings in it. Welcome to the Los Angeles Department of Parks and Recreation. For fishing permits, press 1. For campfire permits, press 2. To rent the merry-go-round for birthday parties or jamborees, press 3. For questions about individual parks, press 4. Please state the name of the park. Third Street Park. I don't understand the name of the park you are inquiring about. Third Street Park. Welcome to Bird Feed Park. If you wish to feed a cockatoo, press 1. If you wish to feed an egret, press 2. If you wish to feed a blue-nosed spotted grebe, press 3. I wasn't going to let the fascistic voicemail get me down. I realized if I wanted to fight City Hall, I'd actually have to go find it. But it turns out it's just an endless bunch of lines and they seem to have a sort of obsessive, compulsive thing about permits. Next. Hi, I'm sure Harlow That's is nice. <laughs> Permission permit, insurance waiver, state permit, county permit, local permit, city permit, section permit, park permit, sanitation permit, carding permit, lifting permit. All these permits expire.
You like it, sweetheart? Oh, I love it. Everybody worked so hard, and some neighbors came by, and they really appreciate it. How do you like it, Miss Sorensen? Well, I have to admit, you did a very good job. I must say, Cher, it's really, it's quite unusual. I'm gonna check that out. It's right over there. I didn't see it. No, uh, how do you keep them up? Well, Mr. Hall, how well do you understand quantum physics? <laughs> Mr. Pasadine insisted on seeing you. So, this is the part that Josh was telling me about. I really admire your impetus. Oh, well, thanks, but I mean, it's really just a flattering dress. You know, this is what my campaign is all about. Impetus, action, people working together, bonding, being, uh... You know, that's how I look at it. That's why I didn't ask for whom the bell tolls, but I just went ahead and told it. It's like that guy says, no man who's alone on an island is truly on an island, all by himself. Well, duh, a man is a man, not an island. But like the author, John Donne, he meant more than that. He meant that... We're not alone. And even though islands are pretty cool, he meant that if we want to make something of this world, we can't do it on our own. We have to help each other. Could you believe after all that work, I only got my grade up to a B plus? And on top of that, we missed the grand opening of Alonzo Marcus, which was totally grievous. But two weeks later, we made a killing at their bankruptcy sale. Like they say, All's well that is well. The mayor says we can expect to hear a lot more about that at the next city council meeting. The campaign for state assembly is heating up as Joe Pasadine climbs dramatically in the polls. Analysts attribute this to a new upbeat spin on his core message. No man who is alone on an island is truly on an island all by himself. Thank you. No man is an island. Hello? No man? What, did we decide to just exclude half of the population? I believe that no woman is an island either. How about we just try no person is an island? And segue. Man cannot live by bread alone. <sighs> Hello, newsflash. I think more accurately is woman cannot live by bread alone. Talk about carbs. <sighs> Excuse me, manicure? So what? Now our nails have to suffer the pains of this society's discrimination? Manicotti, the Ten Commandments? And who says that Frosty the Snowman was a man? I'm gonna do this with my comrade. <clears throat> no man is an island. No man is an island entire of itself, see? That's why I got my partner representing with me. And if he was like dirt washed away by the sea, yo, I'm letting you know that it would devastate me. It would be like a piece of the puzzle always missing. You can grab a pen and a pad or just listen, cause I got his back and he's got mine. That's the way it should be with all mankind. Cause each of us is just a part of the planet. And while we can't help each other, I never understand it. I think it's our responsibility, so don't even ask the bell toll for thee. No man is an island at time of itself. You need to keep that thought. Put it up on the shelf. And forget about fortune and fame and having wealth, cause you ain't doing nothing if you're just doing for self. All right.